So today I got a bunch of snacks and I thought that instead of eating by myself, sadly, in lockdown, I could eat and talk to the camera instead. So, um, I, here I have snacks that we endorsed and I have something that Sajan promoted for charity and I have my Lipo's beer. <laughs> so, I thought that I could try these different types of snacks while also um, telling you guys some things about Chinese fandom and sasangs, fan support, all that, that perhaps you guys don't know. So anyway, first let's try this, fried pork slices. So number one, first thing about Chinese fandoms is that ticket scalpers are like this essential part of fandom. If you're a fan of a top star like Xiao Zhao Wang Yiguo or a K-pop idol, K-pop band, then it's like 99% chance that you have ticket scalpers that, you, that you've added and you use. Mm, because, first of all, mm, a lot of times when they sell tickets for concerts, the platforms don't actually put all the tickets on sale. They actually give a portion of the tickets to ticket scalpers to sell, which is extremely shitty, but that's what they do sometimes. Um, and also, since ticket scalpers, they have like bots and they're professional, they're, they have a company, whatever, it's almost impossible for regular fans to get tickets sometimes. And since they buy so many tickets, it's also like if you want a better seat for a concert, you would also go with the ticket scalper. All the fans know that ticket scalpers are bad, but you also can't help but go to them because if you don't, then you don't get any tickets. Okay, the second snack I'm gonna try is this thing. Like it looks like a bao but it's only like mm, fish eggs instead. I'm not really sure, but I bought this because it looks, it looks interesting, kind of cute. Oh, it's so squished inside. Oh shit! I just wasted that. Okay, let's open another one. So the outside, the white stuff is fish, and the inside, the orange stuff is fish balls. Okay, so the second thing about Chinese fandom, ticket scalpers sell everything that you would need as a fan, from like merchandise that's apparently signed, but usually there's fake signatures, to sassing information. So if you're wondering how the Sasangs actually get the information they need to slot the idols, it's because of ticket scalpers, such as like hotel information, um, flight information, and just like where they're shooting uh, for a TV show somewhere. Or like yesterday, I learned um, what Xiao Zhen and Wang Yubo's gaming profiles are like. It's technically looked down upon to spread this information on Weibo. But people will still spread them privately on uh, WeChat groups and stuff. So I was talking about something and then my teacher called me and now I can't remember what I was saying. Okay, the third thing, snack. It's also my favorite. It is chicken feet. Um, the prettier name is Phoenix Claw, but it's chicken feet. This is something that I guess non-Asian people find really disgusting, but Asian people love because it does taste really good. Okay, my boss just called me. I'm seriously not like pretending to be super busy, but it just so happens that today I'm super busy. So, chicken meat, yes. This is so difficult to eat prettily, so if you don't mind me. It has the nail, the really sharp nail thing, and then it has the, yep. Okay, number three. Fan sites are not sussing fans. They're not like actual stalker fans. First of all, fan sites don't go to every single event for their idol, and not all of the pictures they post are taken by them. So you don't have to be like, whoa, how does this, uh, how does this fan site just follow the idol around all the time? They don't. There are two ways that fan sites can get pictures. Um, the first way is from other fan sites. So for example, if a fan site happens to be able to go to an event for their idol, they would also take pictures of other idols and then sell those pictures to the idol fan sites who couldn't go to the event. And also some fan sites, they just have the time to go follow other idols. For example, um, like recently Igbo had a lot of pictures where he was surfing or in the sea. A lot of those pictures were taken by a fan site called Jing Baikai, and that's actually an EXO fan site. The second kind of people that fan sites can buy pictures from, they're basically like substitute photographers. These are the people who really stalk the... These are the people who just camp outside like 
um, film studios like Hyundai, or they really stalk the idols and take pictures of them to sell. Like they are literally just there to take pictures and sell and make money. And these are the people that you would usually see at an airport, like just mobbing the idol. Because, like I said, they are not fan sites. They don't care about the idol. They're really just there for money. <laughs> okay. So since that's so spicy, I'm gonna eat something sweet now. It's just strawberries, dry strawberries. Number four. So while the substitute photographers are people who take pictures for money, there are also people who are even worse in my opinion. They live stream on platforms like Douyin, which is Chinese TikTok, and Kuaishou and other format, uh, other platforms like that. And what they live vlog is they just camp outside where the idols are, like the photographers, but they just stalk the they just stalk the idol and they live stream what the idol is doing. And then they would say things like, uh, if fans, if my viewers give me this, this this amount of money, then I will get closer to the idol or something like that. I don't know why the fans would give money to do that because that's I'm pretty sure those are just sussings as well, or people who don't understand that this is an invasion of privacy. Yeah, it's pretty sad that it has turned into this entire, like, and just people know how to profit from the greed and curiosity that fans have. Okay, and number five, the fifth thing I want to try, well not really try, because I already tried this, it is something that Xiao Zhen promoted in his live stream for charity stuff, it is duck neck, which, uh, like the chicken feet, it sounds really gross. And actually, a lot of Chinese people think say that duck neck is not healthy or sanitary, but it tastes good. So the fifth thing that I want to talk about is um, what Xiao Zhen said. He said, "我不需要应援. I don't need 应援. Uh, 应援, this term, I translated it in my post to fan support. And like, people on Twitter translated to aid, like fan aid or something. But to be honest, both of these translations are not correct. Because this kind of thing, I don't think it really exists in international or English fandom. So I wanted to explain what it is today. It's not the support of fans, but it's stuff that fans do that isn't entirely required, but help the idols. It has two kinds of categories, like online and offline. So online, mm. so on Weibo, there are super topics for each idol or topic, and then there are the super topic ranks. This is a weekly ranking for the amount of points that interaction points that each super topic gets, and it basically just shows like how many um, active fans each uh, celebrity has. So I remember like two or three weeks ago, Xiao Zhen fans and Tsai Xiuquan fans were at each other's throats trying to become number one because Xiao Zhen has been number one for a few months, I believe, and but Tsai Xiuquan was number one before, and that week. Tsai Kung was really close to becoming number one, so then Xiaonan fans were like, holy shit, we can't let this happen, so then everyone just started fighting. I think another similar thing is polls. So a lot of like platforms or companies, they would sponsor these polls, and they would have, they would contact like fan clubs and such to have fans go vote, or I don't know how to like describe. And if you reach a certain number of people who participate in a certain number of points, then the people, the company will sponsor one of those nice big billboards or the names or words on the building. So those things that you see a lot, they are usually either bought by fan sites or they're sponsored through these polls and that's another type of fan support. So that's just all online fan support. So for offline fan support, it's more varied kind of. Um, for example, at concerts, you have the fan clubs who set up like kind of official merchandise places. Um, and then there are the individual fans who pass out merchandise that they made for free to fans. Those are all types of yin And also some fan clubs, they would organize people to line up overnight and camp outside the concert venue so, you can, so they can rush inside and pull their neon signs during the concert and make sure that their idol can see it. Um, and of course there are the fan events like the birthday cup sleeve cup holder events that K-pop and C-pop both have. Um, or like endorsements, the company's brand would host events and fans would go. Ibo is currently um, endorsing Monster, the drink, and at a lot of convenience stores, they would have his pictures, his standees, and like merchandise, and the fans would go there and take pictures, and that's also a type of union. And the last type that I can think of right now is um, when an idol goes to 
So shoot a movie, drama, or TV show, the fan clubs would give gifts to the other actors or the staff and such. So that's the last type of union. So what you can see is that these union, you, they seem really important, but they're actually not that important. It's more for the fans who want to feel important and want to promote their idols more, but it's not like the most crucial, crucial, crucial part. So when Sojin says he doesn't need union, those are the types of things that he says he doesn't need. So to wrap up this long, boring video, <laughs> try to support and love their idols without getting too much into the disgusting parts of fandom because they are actually avoidable and you don't have to get into all that stuff. I just wanted international fans to be aware that this happens, but you don't have to care about that because even though they affect many things, they are not the most important part. You are in fandom, you are supporting your biases because it's fun and it makes you happy. And thank you for watching this video. I will continue to eat my snacks now.